Good morning. Week two of the offseason training for the Colts. And while Shane Steichen and his new coaches get familiar with the players, GM Chris Ballard is grinding on draft prep. New offensive coordinator Jim Bob Cooter on how many times he's been asked what quarterback the Colts will choose. Uh, 70, 73, 73 <laughs> times, uh, 74, 74. All right, but yeah, plenty, man, plenty, plenty, um, plenty. And I've, I've kept a nice consistent answer that uh, I have no idea and I'm staying out of it. No, I don't know. So we'll go to the next question. Hopefully it won't go 75. Oh, it'll go longer. Meantime, special guests got a sneak peek at the first IndyCar docu-series episode of 100 Days to Indy last night, the Living Room Theater in the Bottle Works District. Racing's biggest prize, the Borg Warner Trophy, also front and center as drivers and teams get ready for the month of May. 2013 Indy 500 champion Tony Canada will race in his 22nd and final 500, telling our Alexa Ross it's sinking in that this will be his last ride. Yes, actually, it's becoming more real now, and uh, it's kind of a mixed emotions. Obviously, uh, I knew this was coming. When we announced 100 days to Indy, I announced 100 days to retirement. So uh, it's been a roller coaster up and down, and it's only going to get worse in a way, in a good way. But uh, yeah, it's real now. It'll be a good one. TK and most IndyCar drivers will take to the IMS track for an open test this morning. Action begins at 10 o'clock, runs through 6.30, and the viewing mounds are open and free to the public. I'm Chris Woodlick. We'll see you again tonight.